Good afternoon. I'm Chief Michael McNeil with the Lomason Police Department. This is sort of heart wrenching that I've got to do this afternoon. We are absolutely devastated. I wish we had a different outcome for Hanya's family, for the community that she lived in, and for the hundreds of law enforcement officers and searchers who put everything, everything they had in defining her and bringing her back alive. We believe we had found the body of 13-year-old Hanya Aguilar. The body was found in a body of water off the Wiregrass Road in Robinson County about 4.45 p.m. yesterday afternoon. Today, the state medical examiner official said preliminary tests indicates the body that they found is Hanya's. But final confirmation will be done using a dental records comparison. If you will, just do something for me. Please continue to pray for Hanya's family and each other as the investigation continues. I just want to add something at this time. I want to ask the community and those that are on social media, please quit spreading the rumors that they are spreading on the media. We're not going to discuss any of the circumstances surrounding the body or the condition of the body. And we want the media and everybody in the community to be respectful of that and do not ask us about the conditions of the body. The medical examiner will conduct an autopsy to determine the cause of death. This is the outcome that we all feared that was going to happen. We did not want to hear this. We wanted to bring Hanya back home and bring her back home alive to our community. It hurts. Our work is not over. We will not stop. We will not stop until we find the person or persons responsible and we bring them to justice. We will not stop until we do that. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the FBI supervisor, Andy. Thank you. I echo the chief's sentiments. We're all heartbroken. We believe we found Hanya, but our work is far from over. We have to find out how she died, who did this to her, and we have to bring the person or persons responsible to justice. So today I have the same plea to the public that I've had from 5 November. Please call us if you have information to help. Don't post rumors on social media. Don't share your speculation about this case. At 5 November, I stood right here before you and stated I couldn't imagine how I would feel if this was one of my daughters. Last night, I had to stand in front of Hanya's mother and explain to her what we had found. And you can all imagine what that has done to her. Can you further imagine what is happening to her today as she hears things that are not based in fact, that are purely speculative, and are rumors and falsehoods? Every logical lead that comes into the tip line, every phone call, every person we talk to, we follow up thoroughly by putting things out there that are blatantly false and that are not released by the Lumberton Police Department, the FBI, the SBI, the Robinson County Sheriff's Office, the North Carolina Highway Patrol are false, they're misleading, they're simply inaccurate. This here isn't about us today, this is about an innocent girl. This is about Hanya and her life. And we want to do everything possible to hold the person or persons accountable who committed this horrific offense. I implore you to call the tip line, again, 910-272-5871, if you want to help us. Call us directly, and please do not make things up on social media. Last night, after finding Hanya, we processed the scene. We secured the scene very late last evening because we wanted to get our eyes back on where she was found 
during daylight hours. Investigators and crime scene officials went back to Wiregrass Road at first light, where we recovered additional evidence and made sure everything that was relevant was collected. We appreciate the neighbor's cooperation and ask they call us if they saw anything suspicious in the area along Wiregrass Road since November the 5. Days ago, we asked about surveillance cameras near Wiregrass Road, and we are asking you again, call us if you have video that could help us determine when and how Hanya came to be laid where our investigators found her late yesterday. Pray for Hanya. Pray for her family and each other. I would add that we are working constantly and diligently with the District Attorney's Office as well as the United States Attorney's Office and we are sharing all information and all evidence matters with them. We are robustly engaged in conversations on a daily basis with both of those offices as we are moving forward. At this time, we'll take a few questions. And you um, said your agents actually found her there, not a hunt or anything like that. Was it, you said, were you in the area because of some video that led you there? Can you share some of that with how that you got directed in that investigation? So we were, Gil. Both the, uh, the FBI agents as well as the Lumberton Police Department detectives were in that area yesterday. Um, there is a large amount of uh, both private and public land that we've been searching since November the 5th. And while law enforcement was making a search on Wiregrass Road, we came upon the area where we found Panyo. Can you yes. say whether or not you have found anything at the crime scene that might help you catch the perpetrator? We won't comment on anything. I'm not we asking for specifics. Just, just wondering if you've actually found anything. I can tell you that there is evidence that is both at the scene, there's evidence that we've received as far as tips from the public. Um, there's evidence that we have published as far as CCTV footage and otherwise. Uh, so to include what we have found last evening, all of it is going to help us uh, piece together what happened to Hanya. Does it tell you any more about the perpetrator, where her body was found? And obviously, he went out his way to make sure we picked up on you guys. Now, I can't comment specifically other than the area that we were last evening and today is not visible from the road. We do not have a person of interest at this time. Are you able to say you know, how long the body may have been there? We're not able to determine at this time, no sir. Any idea how long she may have been with her captain? We're not able to determine that at all, no. That's a legitimate question. Uh, I would remind the public uh, to always remain vigilant. Uh, no matter where they are or what they're doing, uh, we are continuing to follow up on all logical leads, um, looking at all the evidence that we have recovered, and we continue to ask the public through the media. Uh, we are still looking for help and assistance. There's more information out there. We want to be forthcoming, not anonymously via social media posts, but directly to law enforcement. You can remain anonymous, but please help us with critical information that you know will help us lead to who is responsible for this crime. Chief, can you add to that? This is your town here. If you've got a, a murder on the loose, what are you going to tell the residents here? You might step behind this. I want to tell the residents to just be as vigilant as you've always been. Uh, make sure that you check your surroundings and all. Uh, we'll work this thing di diligently to find out who, this, who committed this crime. We're going to work on it, and we'll keep working on it. We'll still keep trying to keep our community safe, and we'll still say it's a safe place to still live. We'll continue to do that. Do you believe the suspect is still in the area? Uh, I don't have a comment as to whether the suspect may be here or may have left the area. I don't have a comment on that. Are you able to say what led you to that particular area? Could someone tell you that? So as you re recall from approximately seven to 10 days ago, we started specifically targeting the area along Wiregrass Road because of a number of tips uh, that have come into the police department through the tip line. 
Um, and this is what led us to ask people along Wiregrass Road to check CCTV footage. Uh, and this is an area that we had planned to do a, a more a thorough and deliberate search. It's a wide open area. Uh, there's a lot of wetland through there. Uh, it's a lot of wooded area. There's also private land, which we needed to coordinate with homeowners and property owners to make access to. So it was a deliberate plan to get out there. Did any of the footage that you had from that area show the SUVs that you were kidnapped? Uh, I don't, I, I can't comment on that right now. Is there anything to say whether or not she was killed there or whether her body was killed there? No, we don't have any information to release at this time as to uh, whether she was killed there or elsewhere. Was her body easy to find or was it buried under any debris? It, it was not something that was obvious. It was not something obvious. And again, where she was was not visible from the road. Was she in water because it was a pond or because of more rain that we've had in the area? And, and so I'm not going to use the term pond. It's a body of water. Um, I don't think it's only rainwater. Uh, I would be mis I would be misleading if I said it was just rainwater. It was a body of water, but it's not formally a pond. Last question. Is there blind numbers? Did the tip line number for people to remember is 910 272 5871. Sir? And 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 270 